July 31st of 2020, something shifted in the universe. Something really shifted through a meditation, a prayer that, I, that, I, that I'd had. I thought about you, and I hadn't seen you in, in a long time. I thought about Garrett, and it had been a couple of years since I had been, that I'd interacted with Garrett. Well, from that day, Garrett got back in touch with me, said that, that you and I needed to meet uh, for coffee just to catch up on things. And I knew before we got to the coffee shop that we would be talking about mushrooms. And you knew that we'd be talking about mushrooms because at two in the morning, and in the and sometime in January, two in the morning, I woke up and said, "My purpose in life is to grow mushrooms." And I went and got an LLC and called it Silly Side Ben Farms, and and went with it. From there, whenever that door opened. It opened your door, it opened Garrett's door, it opened quite a few doors, and we've been at warp speed ever since. So, I'm Garrett Collins, and I am SSB Mushrooms dietitian and uh, media influencer. I grew up on a small farm in Choctaw, Arkansas, was very intimate with the land growing up. I moved to some urban areas, I got into school, got into nutrition, got my master's in nutrition, and the overarching thing that I learned is that our food systems are not where they need to be. They're suboptimal at best. And when I got this opportunity to be part of SSB Mushrooms, it was a no-brainer for me. Um, not only are we going to help with the sustainability of food systems and get people good quality food, but we're also going to offer other solutions uh, such as mushroom leather, mushroom extracts. I'm trained in medical nutrition therapy and it is very obvious that over time we have lost our connection to earth, to the medicine chest that is mushrooms and herbs and spices. So this is just a great opportunity to help do what it is that I was meant to do, and that is bring sustainability and vitality to the world. Hi, I'm Drew Lubke. I'm the founder of SSB Farms in Conway, Arkansas. When I say founder, I, I get the privilege of being the founder of SSB Farms in Conway, Arkansas. Uh, what we do is we are a sustainable solution for the business of mushrooms. And what I mean by business of mushrooms is not only nutritional uh, benefits, but ecological benefits. And also uh, we look to, to, to get into uh, the leather industry, the unsustainable cattle leather industry. Uh, SSB Farms was founded on, um, on the basis of making a change locally. Um, I saw that there was an issue with our diet uh, in Arkansas, that we have, were one of the leading states of, of diabetes, one of the leading states of cardiovascular issues, and also one of the leading states in what we're seeing in a, in a mental cognition issue. Um, and it just so happens that there are many, many genuses of mushrooms that helps with those issues. Me personally, I've been affected by, by some things in my life, be it Alzheimer's, addiction, and trauma. Those three things are the reasons why I got into to SSB Farms. I want to meet people in Arkansas where they're at in their nutrition and try to help with that. I'd like to meet people where they're at in their spiritual walk and also their, their mental walk, uh, where they at with that. And then lastly, I'd like people to also be able to create and consume what comes from their hands. The power that you get from planting your own food and then consuming your own food is 
is unmatched by anything else I've experienced. My name is Douglas Knight. I've been growing shiitake mushrooms on oak logs in my backyard for five years now. And this is my first move to a mushroom grow indoors. Uh, I'm excited to experiment with all the different ways and styles that you can grow mushrooms in. Um, you could grow on so many different uh, organic media like straw, rice bran, soybeans, wood chips, uh, and these are all resources that we have readily available here in Arkansas. So I'm really excited to look at using local resources to produce a valuable food source indoors. So an interesting thing about our pharmaceutical industry is that some of the more prolific drugs of modern times come from mushrooms. A great example of that is penicillin and the cholesterol lowering medications known as statins. So this idea of a mushroom having a preferable effect on the human physiology shouldn't seem so outlandish. In fact, there are some pretty compelling clinical trials that are emerging that mushrooms like turkey tail, cordyceps, lion's mane, and reishi have immunomodulatory and adaptogenic effects within the human body. The National Institute of Health says that these compounds could even result in a more enhanced disease resistance, basically meaning that it's harder for us to get sick when we ingest these compounds. Uh, I first saw shiitake mushrooms being grown in Japan. I was living on an organic farm, uh, just helping them grow their food, do their daily food life. You know, it was a really intentional community. I learned a lot of things there about food, and uh, I've been involved in intentional food ever since. I was really fascinated by mushrooms. I spent like that the whole spring of that year basically on my stomach. Uh, looking at every mushroom that popped out of the ground or out of the leaves and pine needles, you know uh, Just fascinated by all the various shapes and forms that you could find and make use of uh, So I noticed that they were growing shiitake mushrooms on oak logs, which we have plenty of here in Arkansas and uh, I thought well, you know, like I might keep that in my back pocket, you know I might do something with that when I get back to Arkansas uh, so I moved back to the States and started working uh, up on Petty Jean Mountain. There's a summer camp up there I was directing a farm-to-table program for and uh, went a couple years there, got a good garden going and then thought, well, well, let's add some mushrooms to the mix, you know. So we started selecting trees out of the forest around there um, and uh, yeah, we would drill holes with the summer camp kids and plug in the plug spawn so that the shiitake could start digesting that oak log and uh, just keep it watered a year from then. You know, mushrooms started popping out. I'd take the kids out there and pick them and just blow their mind, you know.
Yeah, so I, I got interested in mushrooms um, a long while back, um, just, just on the culinary side. Um, I, I just liked the way that they tasted. Um, where the, the rubber really meets the road on my journey with the mushrooms starts in Guatemala um, about 15 years ago or so uh, when Doug and I took a construction mission trip to Guatemala. So forging the friendships and the relationships that I did in Guatemala over the next 12 years or so uh, going to medical mission trips uh, really aided in the ability to dive in deep to the history of the mushroom because it's relatively new in Western culture. When it comes to the health and vitality of the nation right now, that's an interesting conversation. We have more health practitioners and therapists than we've ever had before, yet we're sicker than ever. That tells me that there is a definite disconnect in our understanding of what healthcare is. Now there's a lot to bridging this gap, but I do believe that part of it is getting back to some of these time-tested methodologies and integrating that with a clinical understanding. Realizing that we've been using mushrooms and botanicals as medicine for generations across cultures but also understanding that it's nice to know from a scientific perspective why and how these compounds are doing what they're doing. This mindset of integration that I'm talking about is resonating with the culture at large right now.